The government of Imo State has officially flagged up the construction of its one cave of urban roads estimating to cost $23.4 billion across the state as part of activities to mark 100 days in office since it was sworn in as the governor of Imo State on May 29 this year. Speaking during the flag of ceremony, the governor said it would not consider geographical division and quest to rebuild Imo. Our correspondent Joseph Oliver has details in this report. It is a full week of activities for the government and the people of Imo as the governor Ihe Diohamak is 100 days in office as the governor of Imo State. The governor, whose campaign promises was to rebuild Imo, said it will leave no stone unturned in his commitment to revamp the state. Flagging off some of the roads which were dead trap before now, the governor noted that all the contractors have within 24 months to complete the road across the state. We are commencing our urban road rehabilitation projects across the state. A few days ago, I flagged off three construction of 381 kilometers of rural roads under the ramp project. The government of Imo State partnered with the federal government, partnered with the World Bank, and partnered with rural access mobility projects. The governor also said he is committed to developing some sectors of the state to improve the well-being of the people. It tax the contractors on building solid roads that will stand the test of time. This road has been of major concern to you, major concern to Ndimo, major, con uh, major concern to the congregation of Santa Cathedral, which obviously signposts entry into Owere capital city. Your Grace, we promised you that before the completion of activities marking your 25th anniversary as the Archbishop of the province, that we shall flag up the construction of this road. The governor, however, urged the people of the state to be patient with his administration. 